For thousands of veterans, war does not end when they come home from the front lines. Many deal with PTSD. A Wisconsin group uses art therapy to help those veterans cope, and right now their work is on display at the Wisconsin Veterans Museum in Madison. Program founder Tim Mayer is with me this morning. Tim, thanks for joining me. You're uh, welcome. Good to uh, be here. To, to get right to it, you've brought in a couple pieces that help illustrate why this program is so be beneficial, kind of a before and after. Mm -hmm. Would you talk about the picture that I'm holding first here? Sure. Uh, this was done, and what we're going to show is uh, some work that uh, a veteran did at the Toma VA Medical Center in Toma, Wisconsin, that I worked with. Um, this is a picture, and we see a red door here, and um, I asked them to write something on the back of their pictures if they wish. Everything is kind of done on their terms. And so what this veteran wrote is that uh, locked door with no handle on the wall I have hit in life. And then we have, uh, could I slide this one over? Sure, I'll hold this one too. Okay. This is about a month later. Yes, and uh, the PTSD program at the Toma VA Medical Center is nine weeks long. It's an inpatient program, and our nonprofit organization uh, works there with the mental health staff. Anyway, uh, after a month, this veteran wrote, after treatment, I have used the tools the VA has given me to begin to open the door in the wall I have hit in life. And it's incredible in their, to help them in their road to recovery. This is uh, work that's on display now at the Wisconsin Veterans Museum, which is right next to the state capitol. Great to visit if you're in Madison this summer sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, do visitors to the museum get to read these these comments, do they get to hear some of the story behind the picture if they check out the museum? Yes, each uh, uh, picture that we have, and we also have mosaics and quilts and sculpture and painting, has a narrative that accompanies it. Some of the uh, images, uh, the art pieces, have the names of the veterans on. Others are anonymous. Uh, with some veterans, we wanted to protect their privacy. Um, but there's 60 pieces on display, and as you said, it's uh, at 30 West Mifflin Street, right across from the state capitol. Um, and uh, the work is not only from veterans at the Toma VA Medical Center, but our nonprofit artists for the humanities and the program we sponsor, which is called the Return and Recovery Program for Military Veterans. We have uh, five programs here in the state, one at the Toma VA Medical Center, one at St. Norbert Abbey in De Pere. We have two here in Milwaukee, and we also have a program at the Wisconsin Veterans Home at King. And we have just a few seconds left. I know something that's very near and dear to your heart is making sure that veterans seek help before it's too late. Yes, one of the biggest challenges that uh, our nonprofit has and the VA has, and I'm sure other nonprofit uh, organizations around the country, is getting veterans to come in and get help. Um, PTSD is not something you can fight on your own. Um, there are many programs out there to help veterans, and uh, too often we see veterans when they hit rock bottom, especially at the Toma VA. We want people to come in get the help that they need. Uh, if loved ones are out there, family members, uh, I would encourage them to move your uh, uh, military veteran along to get them some help if they're in need. All right, Tim, thanks so much for coming to see us this You're morning. welcome. It was great to meet you. If you would like more information on this exhibit or the return and recovery program, just head to our website, tmj4.com links. More Live at Daybreak right after this.